us back. So now how do we actually read the data that we'll be getting here for these columns and how do we make decisions based on the data that we see? Let me just give you a, a couple of the basics. So let's start with unique CTR and CPC. So click through rate and cost per link click. If you get a very low CTR, let's say around 1% and a very high cost per click, that usually means that there's not that much demand for the product that you're advertising. So it could also be your creative, so you can try and, um, and, try and advertise some, some other creatives about the same product. But a lot of the time, it's time to move on to another product because um, obviously people are not responding to the product that you're advertising. Now, if you do get a decent click-through rate and cost per unit link click, and we get a lot of content views, so people go to our product page, but we don't all, uh, get a lot of add to cards, that usually means that we have to change something on our landing page because obviously people are uh, visiting our landing page because they are interested in what we are advertising, but then they decide to not follow through with adding the product to the cart and, and uh, do the purchase. So we have to change up our offer. So this could be the price. This could be maybe a creative way on how to price your products, like giving bundle offers, giving uh, buy one, get one free and all, and all that um, kind of stuff. So you have to experiment with your landing page. And also sometimes you have to just up the quality, add some more trust on your landing page, like maybe give a money back guarantee and just uh, experiment with those uh, things. And then if we do get a lot of add to cards, but we don't get any checkouts or purchases, that means a lot of the time that people are interested, they add the product to the card, so they want to buy it. But then at the checkout, they decide to not follow through with the purchase. So what that could mean is that um, maybe the shipping cost is too high that they weren't expecting, or maybe something is off in your funnel, uh, sometimes even. Um, your funnel doesn't work. So something is, there's an error or something on your checkout page. So you want to go back to your store and make sure everything works perfectly and maybe also play around with uh, the shipping price. Maybe also offer free shipping uh, to, to see if then people are willing to buy your product. Now, let's say we've been running our ads for a day or two and now we have some data in our account that we can work with and optimize our ads. What we would do here is just look at what ad set is performing the best here in this campaign. So let's say for the top one, the golden retriever ad set, we have some a good CTR, we have some add to cards, and maybe even some purchases. And let's say the other three here at the bottom are performing very poorly. What we would do here is just turn these ad sets off and then we're going to use the other ad sets that are performing well kind of as a basis to find more interest groups. So what we would do here, let's say this is the best performing ad set, is click on duplicate. And then we just, let's say we do three more um, ad sets, click on duplicate here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on each of the new ad sets, scroll down to where it says detail targeting, and then we're going to cl click on suggestions and find more um, more interests that are related to the interest that is already working well. So uh, let's say golden retrievers is working well, then obviously uh, dog races or so dog types are working quite well for this campaign. So what we would do here is just try different dog breeds. So let's try German Shepherd here. And then for the next one, we're gonna go with, um, let's say French Bulldog. And again, you just wanna go with one interest at a time. So I'm gonna delete the Golden Retriever here. And then for the third one, we're gonna go with, let's say Rottweiler. Again, delete the Golden Retriever. And then we just wanna keep doing that. So turn off all the ad sets with the interests that are not uh, working well and find new interests with the ad sets that are already working well.